Hi, this is Blake Angelos from Yamaha Corporation America here at KnobCon 2016 on Gear Sluts, and uh, I'll talk a little bit about the Montage Firmware 1.2 upgrade and some of the features that we've added to Montage, and I'll talk about the uh, Montage Connect VST3 and Audio Unit plugin that we've added as well that streamlines a lot of the workflow process from the montage to the dock. So first of all, with 1.2, we added some cool things. One of them is the ability to control the super knob with a MIDI um, standard continuous controller. So if I'm inside, say, my utility mode here, and I select my MIDI I.O. settings, right here is where the super knob continuous controller setting is. So I can set that to anything, and it allows me to control the montage movements that are parameter movements that are kind of go above and beyond what a MIDI continuous controller does within montage itself. But I can control it now with an external controller, or I can go into a DAW and and play in super knob settings and then go into maybe a, a graphic editor and draw those in how I want them. So that's a cool addition we've added. Another ability is the ability to create a user arpeggio now. You can load in a MIDI file or create a MIDI file directly in the montage performance recorder and take a piece of that and create a small user arp. So you can create your own user arps as well now with montage. Um, and there's a bunch of other things that we've added as well. So if you want to know more about that, go to downloads.yamaha.com. If you are a montage owner, download the firmware, and there's a sheet in there that describes all the things that you can do now. And in addition to that, we have support for Montage Connect, which is a VST audio unit. So I'll show a couple of things that you can do with Montage Connect. The first thing is, let's say I'm inside of the montage, and I have this and I have this cool fingered steel guitar and I, and I get inspired to create something. I've already done that here. So I go into my recorder and I'll bring up a song that I've already created here. So I'll load. Um, great thing about this is that it's called Guitar Sketch and now we have a thing that says performance name, store song and performance settings. So now I can register the performance I used with the song so it always shows up. So I know that that song, when I play it, will play the correct performance back. So here's the song that I started with. So I just very briefly recorded this into the performance recorder. Now I'm ready to go to the DAW and continue there. And Montage Connect really simplifies that process. So what I'll do in here is I'll go to my project window here and I have Add Instrument Track. This is also where you would add a virtual instrument inside of Cubase. So if I say, all right, I like this one right here. Here's the Montage Connect. And I add the track and it brings up the interface. So you see, very simple interface. Auto Sync means when I turn on the project, if I start here and I shut it down, it will recall the performance I used in here. But first I have to capture that performance. So from the montage to the computer, I hit this graphic, some transmitting bulk happens here, boom, there's my fingered steel guitar. Now I can use Cubase's Media Bay and save that preset. So if I want to name it, whatever, I've actually saved it already right here. I've already ranked it. I can rank it and say, oh, I like that. That's a big five star on that. So it just goes right into your box of raw materials. Absolutely. Just like, just like, a, just like any VST inside yeah. of Cubase. So it uses that very cool thing in here. So I won't save that right now because I've already saved it. So now that I've captured that performance, now I go to this tab here that says Song Import. And it looks at my montage and sees what songs are in there. So I have a few in here. And here's the guitar sketch I did, just did. Now I'll show you another quick thing in Cubase for your Cubase users that you might want to do in the preference area. There's an area where it says auto dissolve. And you can say I can send it to instrument tracks, to Halion Sonic SE if I want to do that, or I just say MIDI tracks. That's what I want to set it to. So it, it's just going to create MIDI tracks. And since montage is already set up as channel one, part one, channel two, so on, it transfers it perfectly. When I just drag this like this, pull it into the timeline, and there it is right now. So now, if I want to change the tempo of it, whatever, when I play it back, I can hit it here and I'll play the, just press play on Cubase, and it plays exactly what I played in. So now if I want to go in and say, oh, well, here's my MIDI data here. Um, I want to grab this and quantize that or whatever I want to do. Now I have the flexibility to start work and continue my work here. So that's one of the things that Montage Connect does. It allows you to do a sketch in the performance recorder of the montage and then simply transfer it over into a DAW. And remember at the beginning I said VST3 and audio unit. So if you're a Logic user, we got you covered. You can work with an audio unit as well. So I'll show another thing in here. Get rid of this project and I'll bring up another one here. And I'll kind of give an idea of one of the ways you can use the workflow. So here it is here. 
So if you know anything about Montage, and you notice that CFX came up because my Montage Connect was set to auto sync and that was what I saved it at. So it brings up the last thing I was using inside, the last performance I was Cubase. using inside of Cubase. Yeah, so it's it really streamlines it. it so what I did here was, and what we like to say about Montage, because some of these performances, for example, the CFX concert that we have right here, there are four parts that are being used in that CFX concert. And a lot of times when people record on Montage for the first time, they create a MIDI track, and they have it on channel one and they play the CFX and I'll mute out three of those parts and what the end result is is something like this where if they play soft they hear the piano but if they play hard what's going on here if you just record it on one track and you have it set in multi mode it records on four simultaneous MIDI channels so what we like to tell people to do is when you want to record something like this multi-part single instrument performance you want to set it to what's called single part mode and that's just done inside of the settings in the advanced area, and you set it to single or multi. So single is what you want to do these multi-part um, single instrument performance. Multi is when you want to do single parts. The single part, single MIDI channel paradigm is something that everyone's used to. We did it with Montage or the Motif with MoXF. So that's kind of the common paradigm. Montage kind of moves beyond it.